hello everyone and welcome back to Boulder Cove. This is episode 21 and today is the day we're going to start working on Boulder City which is the capital of Boulder Cove. Um, we won't plop down any buildings which makes it sound a little bit weird because I just said we're going to start working on it but the first thing I want to do is build this park. And now I have uh, started a little bit and I have built sort of the main infrastructure of this park but we're gonna have a time lapse right after this where we're gonna, we're gonna detail a little bit more but um, yeah Boulder City is based on Vancouver um, mostly inspired it's not gonna be a copy but a little bit inspired by Vancouver and Vancouver is the home of Stanley Park which is you know the main park in that area um, it's really nice I've been there once been a park once. Um, I really enjoy it. it was a, yeah, I uh, went uh, cycling around uh, the park. There's the millionaire's helicopter. Huh. So he's probably going to the mansion that we built last time. Now that is good timing. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. So uh, this is um, this is going to be the area, like roughly the area that the park will. Uh, will be um, once again I went to the workshop found myself a really nice uh, interchange uh, because I can't make them myself I um, I think I can but it just takes too long and I yeah I never get happy but um, I found a real nice one it's really compact which I needed because uh, most others I found were like this big and I couldn't have that, so I, I needed to have something compact, something small, just like this. So, um, those who are driving here, they sort of... Oh, that's a bad frame rate. Um, it's sort of steep, like sort of. Like it could have been a lot worse, but it definitely is uh, quite steep. and. That's what, that's what I wanted for because I wanted the bridge to be very much first of all I wanted ships to um, get underneath here but I wanted it to be pretty huge you know this bridge isn't custom or anything but I still wanted to be sort of like a landmark sort of like it's very visible and of course it's very visible and I do like how it's um, on this side it goes on for a real long time because you know gotta have a gradual slope uh, because this area is flat. However, however, it you know the bridge stops right here because the park is um, it's built on a, a small cliff. Yeah, so I really like that. Uh, you've also got a metro line that goes right through, which I really like. I gotta take advantage of the Sunset Harbor updates and also a pedestrian walkway for those who want to get over because you can't walk on these roads, you know, the highway roads. And yeah, that's pretty much it because, yeah, I, I want a metro to go basically everywhere in this area, but I want a one metro line at least to come over to this island right here. Uh, probably stop somewhere along here. Don't go all the way to Buxo, but you know, almost. And the plan is to spend a little bit more time detailing around the shoreline here, make it look a little bit nicer, because you know this is this is gonna be one of the main focal points of this uh, of this city, and therefore this series. So you gotta look good. So um, yeah, let's just jump straight into the time-lapse okay now I am recording this audio uh, prior to the audio or the gameplay that you just heard so uh, if it comes out as too repetitive then <laughs> I'm sorry but uh, yeah I don't really know what I'm talking about in the uh, live gameplay before this time-lapse but I'm pretty sure it's, it's not gonna be anything special and I do have a rough idea of what I'm going to talk about so it shouldn't be 
too much of an issue. But um, yeah, if I haven't already stated this, then uh, I can do it right now. Uh, Boulder City is going to be most inspired of Vancouver. And this park, the first thing we're going to build in Boulder City is uh, very much inspired by Stanley Park. Uh, it's also situated in roughly the same area, this park and Stanley Park. Um, on, on the sort of the northern point of the city. I'm not too quite sure if it's the northern point or the southern point, but definitely it's on, uh, it's on the <laughs> it's on the point, right? it's on the uh, on the edges of the city. And the bridge, I think, is called in real life Lionsgate Bridge. Um, and it's roughly sort of the same um, layout and sort of the same. It follows the train in some same similar way that um, Stanley Park is also a sort of a sort of like a small cliff or a um, it's not a mountain but it definitely goes up and then the bridge just sort of spews out of the uh, highest point and just goes across the uh, could you call it a river I'm not too sure actually but uh, it goes across and it looks kind of cool. You just you got this kind of kind of huge cliff, dense forest, and just suddenly right out of it comes a huge bridge. So that was also what I tried to mimic in this area. And I only been to Stanley Park once, and what I did there was uh, cycle around the um, shorefront. You got some really nice uh, path going path, several paths uh, going around the area. And um, so I, I wanted to spend some time here to detail the area around the um, the sea or ocean or lake. I'm not too sure if it's a lake or an a, a, a ocean, um, but um, the, the huge body of water. That's uh, we can call it that. Uh, so I uh, originally didn't really plan on detailing that much, but um, I, I wanted the time lapse to this. So. Decided it was a good idea to just I don't go crazy with detailing. I I really don't, but um, spend a little bit more time on it than I would probably do otherwise, because this is a landmark. You know, this is the main park in the capital of this region. Uh, so it it would make sense to you know spend some time and you know, pop down a little bit of detail. And I'm not going crazy with you know decals or props or anything. I only placed down a uh, fair amount of trees and of course a few props. But other than that, it's mostly like networks um, because the um, uh, as you probably saw in the, in the start of the time lapse, um, I placed down sort of a network that acted like. Uh, grass basically and they're called I think they're called basic slope profiles or just slope profiles and what it is is that it just gives you a, a network to sort of make uh, make flat ground it's not completely flat it's um, it's a slope it's real nice in areas where you know the terrain tends to become a little bit jagged I don't know how, it, how or why it does that, but I think that's just how the game mechanics work. And it's nice to use those in those kinds of areas to make it look a little bit more nice, a little bit more natural uh, with the uh, slopes. And I decided it was a good idea to add them in here. So you had like the you had the pathway, and then you had a pretty long gradual slope down towards the. Um, down to down towards the shoreline, so um, and, I, and it turned out pretty pretty great in my opinion. Um, I didn't do any fences around it. I I don't know if I had to or should have, but um, I thought if I were to have fences, so that you know people wouldn't just walk down walk directly into the ocean, um, that would mean I would have to use a lot of props. And all the prop fences I had, they are. Uh, terrain conforming which means that if you place them on a slope they do want to slope themselves they would they, they they become all unnatural and um, 
And same with the network um, fences I have that came with uh, Park Life, I think. They as well, they can't be raised. Uh, at least the ones I'm tried, at least like the, the park, uh, city park fence, it can't be raised. Uh, so I decided just to hope that the people of Boulder City have uh, somewhat of a common sense and don't just walk, di <laughs> walk directly into the ocean. Um, but you, this could also be like an area for um, if you want to go swimming, you know, there could be like ladders going down to the down to the water or yeah if you in the water want to get up you can do ladders and stuff like that um, that could be the case but um, yeah that's why I didn't do any fences because I just didn't have the assets for it um, but I have already downloaded a bunch of assets for this or it's not a real a bunch of but I have gone a little bit crazy considering what I have done in the past when it comes to downloading new stuff um, of course the basic slope profiles they are new um, and they are a pack so it's not that much difference really it's not that many new um, new assets from that pack and the other one you just saw me place down are these rocks um, or hopefully you just saw me place down uh, I don't really know where I am in the time lapse but uh, um, they're rocks by grey flame I think and um, I always wanted to use them. I always wanted to use them. I have seen uh, so many uh, content creators use them. Uh, Two dollars twenty uses them a lot in uh, Marble Mountain. So I, I decided to want to give them a shot. And uh, they, um, Grey Flame has created a lot of different kinds kinds of rocks, different kinds of colors. So I think the one I went for is just a one. I think it's called like. Uh, sandy gray or something what's really cool about that one is it comes with also like that mossy type so it comes one with just sort of gray rocks pretty huge ones and then the same ones just with moss on top of them which is the one i used here to you make it look like you sort of got a little bit of patch of grass on top of these rocks and it makes for very nice uh, cliff faces so i definitely want to use them uh, a lot more when it comes to detailing in like national parks and stuff in this area so yeah I just want to test them out and um, I want to see what kind of rocks fit so um, and those rocks is, they're not that many um, so it shouldn't be too much and because I was thinking if I want to um, if I want to share the save game will be a lot easier if I were to use more custom assets than assets that come from um, content creator packs because people that have this game on PC are more inclined of course to just use assets that are free on the workshop instead of buying them um, and I totally get that you know the reason why I have bought you know most of the packs is because well they they look really good um, and you know I want to do you know um, show my support to the creators you know because you know most of the creators that do tend to give out these kinds of packs are the ones that are very active um, in the community they are very they they've been spewing out tons of assets that are top-notch quality for probably years even so it's just a sort of a way of saying thank you but um, I totally get that what people won't use money on it because they can get just as good assets for free so that's why I probably want to turn a little bit away from using any more cust no, um, any assets from these content creator packs because I do want to share the save game um, at one point or another it's it's basically ready you know I do have a mods and asset collection uh, down below in the comment section, no, not the comment section, in the description of this video. So it, it, it's good to go, you know, it's not that many assets. I think it's like roughly a hundred mods and assets. So anyone could run it, basically, you know, probably not this quality um, and not this frame rate maybe, but definitely people can run this easily, I think. And they can definitely open it because 
we don't have enough RAM. You can't you can't open save games that contain a lot of assets because you just the RAM basically gives up. Um, so, but but then again, you know, hundred assets. If you got four gigabytes of RAM, that's probably enough, you know. And most computers these days come with four gigabytes at least. I think most come with normally around eight. So it should be it should be okay. But uh, yeah, I think I think I want to go a little bit further away from that and use a little bit more, just a little bit more uh, custom assets. But uh, that's a lot of rambling. Um, what I've done with the park is just I, I want to keep it fairly secluded, definitely in the middle. Like I want a bunch of people walking around by the shoreline, but like right in the middle, I want it to be a really dense, dense forest. So and not a lot of things are going on in those areas. I added like a playground and like a tennis court and like a uh, Japanese garden. But basically, that's it. You know, you got a few paths going through, which is nice. You know, um, but yeah, that's probably it for the stuff inside. I want people to walk outside the park. You know, on the edges, and from the little time I've spent, uh, you know, watching the people um, use this park, they have been it's been fairly active because you know the zoo that I placed down. Um, a lot of people want to visit it, so that's really good. But that's it for the time lapse. I'm gonna jump back into the live gameplay, show you a little bit around, and then you're gonna see some cinematics. That should be pretty good. All right, hope to see you there. And we are back. I um, hope you enjoyed the time lapse, and I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. Uh, tell me what you think about this little area. Uh, my favorite is the uh, little zoo that we have here. Sort of like, it just seems like it's nestled so nicely. It uh, seems so cozy, and uh, yeah, I do also love love how these uh, what what should I call them? I love how this looks. Okay, <laughs> I love the uh, I love the layout of this um, like outer parts of this park. I love how it looks and it uh, yeah it's all because of these uh, slope profiles alongside these um, concrete walls you know it's not perfect everywhere you can see you here but uh, then again how many times are going to zoom in all the way over here so it should be should be fine um, yeah and then again these are the rocks that I used Grey flame looks amazing. Now I don't know if you noticed, but um, I went ahead and changed all the trees that I placed down in the time lapse. I thought I could, um, um, I thought I could go on the workshop and just find myself a couple of trees that are typical uh, British Columbia trees, and just use them forward. However, it just sort of. Yeah, it sort of just didn't work out. I th I I still think that you know the redwoods here that are vanilla, and these generic trees by Los Gecko. I love how they sort of mix, how they blend. They got you know sem similar color, not not perfectly the same, but yeah they. They look so good together, and I think I just found a good mix. So uh, I'm I'm gonna stick with them. I am. So I have gone ahead and uh, changed all the trees that I placed down in the time lapse with uh, the same old ones, and I hope that's uh, hope that's fine. You probably didn't notice. Uh, I didn't notice almost. But um, yeah, this is the area. You can almost yeah, you can see the cars driving around. Um, I, I imagine that uh, these chairs and these umbrellas, that some parts along these uh, along the pathway, there would be um, almost like a, uh, like, like a place where you could pick these up, like you could pay a small amount and then you can rent them 
and then you could like return them and get that amount of money back you know sort of to make sure that people don't just leave their uh, chairs and umbrellas all over the place um, because you know people wouldn't necessarily bring these with them you know maybe they would but it would make sense if you could actually rent these things uh, around the um, park somewhere I love this bridge I can't wait till we have actual people walking over and the metro line that'll be pretty sick um, a bunch of trees here um, mainly because this is straight like straight underneath the bridge it wouldn't be like the best place for pictures and stuff but you know this would be great for example a little fishing pier these are two piers um, sliced together because I sort of liked uh, the this part of one pier and I liked this building that's part of another pier so I just thought why not both and um, yeah, when it comes to the middle section, not a lot of things is going on. We got like a cabin here, a um, Japanese garden, which uh, would make sense because there is a lot of uh, people with uh, uh, Japanese uh, heritage that do live in uh, British Columbia, so it's uh, sort of realistic. And uh, we also got a playground over here with some tennis courts. And I also thought that um, this could be kind of like a big public beach. Um, it it does get warm in uh, Vancouver, but I don't know if it gets that warm that you know it's need is it like it needed to uh, have a huge public beach it probably will it gets kind of warm up there so yeah that might be uh, the case then i might build that in a later episode um, but i thought what i could work on in the next one is either the harbor here which i just slightly started just place down all buildings all from all buildings from the fishing industry and a um uh, a uh, what's it called again a ferry harbor yeah so i might detail and work a little bit around this area and then i might jump back to uh, this area over here which i haven't done yet and uh, then i just might go ahead and jump right back again into boulder uh, boulder city and Maybe start working on the skyline. I don't know where the main downtown is gonna be. Maybe over here. Uh, maybe over here. Because I thought I could have the main downtown near the train station. But come to think of it, the train station usually isn't always in the center of cities in the US and Canada. Uh, very often they are a little bit further away. Uh, depends on where the city is um, because I don't think uh, like for example in LA trains are like nobody uses trains uh, so it depends on where you are on the continent you know some areas do uh, use a lot of uh, trains when it comes to transport some don't and that's perfectly fine so I might go ahead and build like the uh, main downtown with the highest skyscrapers around this area and then maybe the train station further along here could be the case but uh yeah that's that's uh some few episodes away but uh, yeah don't be afraid to use the comment section and tell me what you think about this episode this build uh hey you got some suggestions on names please let me know like the name for this park um, I haven't even thought about any so if you have any please let me know uh, the same goes with the bridge I think that you will uh, I think the bridge also needs a proper name because it's kind of iconic I do love it but uh, that's pretty much it for this episode I would like to thank you all for watching 
and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Life's been good to you and I see that you're with someone new Maybe you are better off now that you're with him But when I see your face I can't stop myself from spiraling Now I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling down Cause I can focus when you are around But I will try my best to carry on I'm lost and out of breath I will carry on without you like you've done But I'm not over you you left I know that I have done some things I do regret and I don't blame you for leaving I might have done the same but it doesn't make it easier anyway now I'm falling, I'm falling I'm falling, I'm falling down cause I can get myself to focus when you were around but I will try Carry on without you like you've done But I'm not over you Without you, like.